Hey YouTube, how's it going? Selena here, and this is going to be my 25, no, not 20, ooh, um, 35 and 36 week update. Whew, had breath already. Um, so the first thing that I want to say, which is something that I have been wanting to say in some of my other episodes, I mean not episodes, but, um, videos but I just keep on forgetting and forgetting and forgetting but I do have a few new subscribers so I want to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and I'm sorry for the lack of videos um I'm just been bad at um not necessarily filming them because I'm starting to uh, keep up with filming them it's more um uploading them because that's a longer process than filming them and I don't like doing uploading them um, there was something else I wanted. Oh yeah, today is September 9th. I am 37 weeks and two days pregnant. So, yeah. Um, and now I'm going to get into the update. Uh, as you can guys can see, his room still isn't finished, even though I'm 37 weeks. But we do have his crib, which is that box right there behind me. That is his crib. Um my mom left today she sometimes her job requires her to travel and she won't be back until next week the 16th and that is when we will be putting up her crib I think my main concern is is that I don't want him to come before she gets back um I do have somebody here with me so if I do go into labor I can call them one of her friends but I would honestly feel more comfortable with um her here with me versus one of her friends especially since you never know what's going to happen um so one thing that i've noticed is that i have i believe it's called velcro veins where like you can see the veins or they kind of pop out or whatever um i don't feel like i said this in any of my other videos but i noticed a long time ago that under my what is this left boob I do have some Velcro veins underneath there, but recently I've noticed that I also have some underneath my belly, and they're so low down that I can't see them, so I had to take a picture to see what it was that I was feeling down there, and it, I have um, the Velcro veins down there, and yeah, it's weird, um, but that reminds me, um, so... I have a new doctor here in Washington. I've gone to two appointments. I went to one last week and then one this week. Um, and of course, if you're pregnant, you know that every appointment you have to pee in a cup. And now that my belly has gotten so big, peeing in a cup is really hard. The first time I tried, my last appointment it had been a month since I had an appointment. so. Yeah, and when I tried to pee in a cup, I pretty much missed most of the time. It was really hard. Sorry if that's TMI. But anyways, um, my appointments went good. I am one centimeter dilated. Last week in my appointment, I did the strep B test. And this week, um, found out that it was negative. So it's one less thing that I have to worry about, which is good. Um... I did do a hospital visit, um, I, yeah, <sighs> I did a hospital visit, um, I really like the hospital here, you get, when you're there, you have one nurse pretty much to yourself, so you won't be sharing nurses, the room has, at least the bathroom for the labor and delivery has a tub in it, um, the baby stays with you the whole time. Um, if you have a vaginal birth, though, you only, um, stay in the hospital for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with that. They don't bathe the baby because the stuff that the baby comes out, comes out with it on him, I think it's called Burnix, it's actually really good for them. So they don't, um, bathe the baby afterwards. Um, I feel like there's a few other things, but I just... I really like the way that is. I feel like it'll probably be like more of a personal thing since I'm only going to have, since I will have one nurse to myself and then 
after I give birth, the postpartum room, you also have a postpartum room to yourself. So that's good. I won't be sharing a room. And then they also have like a quiet time during certain times of the day. And they have a place for whoever that comes with you and stays with you. They have a place for them to sleep. So that's also good too. So I really like this hospital um, here in Washington. Uh, also, um, one thing that I had completely forgot about doing was finding a pediatrician for baby beans. So, um, I say if you haven't chosen a pediatrician yet, do that. Like, at least figure out who you want to be and see if they're accepting patients. But the doctor, the pediatrician here, like, you wait until after the baby is born in order to call. But it's a good thing to go on ahead and have an idea of who you want your child's doctor to be. And, you know, that's something that completely went out of my mind. Um, so, let me see, um, nerves, he's been on my nerves more and more now, which is weird, like, I feel like he knows what he's doing, because I could go to the store, I can go to the mall, walk around for hours, and be fine, but as soon as I get home, he's on my nerves, whether I'm sitting down, or standing up, or whatever, it's like he's mad at me for because I went out and went for a walk so now that I'm home I've got to pay the price and he's just all over my nerves constantly whenever I'm at home but whenever I'm out and about he's never on my nerves so I don't know but I think he knows what he's doing um hot flashes I get hot flashes I think that this baby that I'm carrying is like a mini heat box um, so I would just randomly get hot throughout the day. Here in Washington, nights are cold. It's like 50 something degrees at night and I sleep with my window open and I sleep with my fan blowing directly on me and that's the only way I can go to sleep because I'm too hot. And then during the day I get hot, um, just randomly. So I end up, um having to we bought some popsicles so I've got those that I can um eat to cool me down um starting to get more uncomfortable when I lay down um the last time it was uncomfortable for me laying down was like when I was having issues like with my hips hurting and all that stuff and I just changed the way I was sitting but now I think that this is different laying down when I have issues. Um, I, like I can't lay on my back anymore even if I'm propped up by pillows. I have to lay like on my sides or if I'm on my back I'm not completely on my back. I'm kind of like tilted to one side or the other. Um, and that is yeah starting to get more uncomfortable and I think it's because of the weight because you know now he's gaining more weight mostly weight and you know stuff like that and getting bigger so even when I lay on my side if I lay on my side for too long that is uncomfortable and I'm to the point where I'm also waking up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom which I thought that I would never get there but I'm there now and it's also getting harder for me to go to sleep at night um but uh, one thing that I noticed though is that when I don't take my prenatal vitamins and my iron pills, I am more tired during the day. So, like I was taking two naps before and then I had to start taking them again and now that I'm taking them, I have a lot more energy than what I had before. Um, and I don't know if I said this before, this will be the last thing that I say. I can't remember if I said it in my last video or not, but sometimes I have this feeling like this isn't happening to me, like this isn't my body, this isn't my pregnancy. I feel like I probably did say this in the last video, but then, and like, you know, it just doesn't feel real, but sometimes it, it does actually feel real and... I'm all excited and stuff like that, but I don't know. I just feel so disconnected sometimes. 
but I still love this baby and you know I'm still I'm ready for him to come but at the same time I want him to wait I want I wanted him to be an October baby but oh and if you didn't know my due date is on September 28th so I wanted him to be an October baby but I think right now since my mom isn't here my main concern is I'm just hoping that he doesn't come until after she gets back and I don't know if I said this before but in my appointment today I found out that I am one centimeter dilated which isn't much and I could stay one centimeter dilated for a long time but you know it is what it is um and so yeah now I am going to show you guys my belly and that will be the end of this video and my next video will be my hospital bag and his diaper bag. And I will say this now is that I, I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff in there that you don't necessarily need to take to the hospital. But because my mom's not here, if he does come, I will end up staying at <clears throat> her friend's house. So I just have extra stuff that I need while I'm there. But that will be the end of this video and I will show you guys my belly and then that is the end. So here it is from the front and the side and I think I've said this before I think the stripes make it look bigger than uh, what it is. And now I will show you guys my uncovered belly. So here it is from the front. And then the side. And you guys can see, I feel like these um, stretch marks are like slowly inching forward. But, oh well. And then here is the other side. So yeah, you can, I think my belly has dropped. It's really low. He's really low, so yeah. That is the end of this video, and I shall see you guys in the next video. This is.